Hi, my name's Emma Lowell Buck, proud Labour MP for South Shields. I'm just sending this message out to local members because I'm not sure if you're aware that the process has changed to reselect who you want to be your candidate should there be a general election, which could, in fact, be any time soon. Local members will all get a chance to democratically take part in votes in their branches to decide if they want to retain me as the candidate going into the next general election or open up the process for somebody else. Opening up that process could take us up to six months. That's six months of us talking to ourselves, arguing amongst ourselves who we want to be our candidate. Six months where you won't have me doing my regular door knocking sessions week in and week out, talking to people, recruiting people into our movement and making sure we get those votes to win a general election for Jeremy Corbyn and Labour. So far, my record in Shields speaks for itself. I have the largest majority here thanks to my great campaigning team for over 20 years. I have one of the largest speaking records in Parliament and, I put down, and I'm among those MPs who've put down some of the most questions. Eight years of regressive policies have led to the hollowing out and decimating of local government and many other key public services, meaning that costly and expensive crisis management as opposed to prevention is now the norm. If Tyne and Weir's fire and rescue services funding does not increase this year could see overnight cover cut by 50% in South Tyneside, putting my constituents and our local firefighters' lives at risk. Will this government put the needs of vulnerable children before private One thing profit? I noticed when I first became MP here was that um, people seemed to not feel connected with politics. They didn't seem to feel connected with local politicians. And that, for me, was a big problem. So I made sure that I went out there, and I've been in everyone's face for six years. You know, I make sure that I go out campaigning every single week. I run street stalls, I go door knocking face to face with people. I hold open surgeries in supermarkets, in community centres. I go around schools trying to mobilise the next generation of politicians. I go to community groups talking to them because ultimately politics affects every single thing in your daily life. And as a politician, if I'm not out there talking to people, engaging with them, how the hell can I be their voice in Parliament? How the hell can I speak for them? So for me, the best part of my job and the most fun part of it, and sometimes it can be challenging, but I always welcome challenge, is to get out there and talk to the people who put me where I am. Members do vote to reselect me. What they will see is somebody who has a track record of campaigning, a track record of delivery, and a track record of being a fierce voice for them in and outside of Parliament. That is something I will continue to do. I'll continue to do everything I can in my power to bring investment and jobs to our area. I'll continue to do everything I can to make sure that those issues that matter to local people get an airing in Parliament and that their voice is heard on a national stage. I'll continue to fight to save our local hospital. I will continue to fight on behalf of every single constituent in South Shields. This message to Labour members is from me saying please vote to reselect me as your MP. Please vote to make sure that we have a face on the doors at the general election that resonates with people and that is popular and where people know I have a track record of delivery. Now is not the time for instability. The Brexit party are already out campaigning every single week. I'm managing to, in, in my campaigning efforts, I'm managing to get to voters and make sure that they know that it's Labour who's on their side, not the Brexit party. They have their candidate in place, the Lib Dems have their candidate in place, the Labour Party don't. Can we really afford to waste this time? So when you get your award meeting, there'll be a short debate and then there'll be a decision to be made at the end of it. Do you want to keep Emma Lowell Book as your candidate going into the next election for Labour? Or do you want to open the selection process up where we can talk to ourselves for months on end about who our candidate should be? Please vote for me. It's been the honour of my life. I want to continue serving you. Please give me that opportunity.